Thank you so much. Okay, let's talk today on what is taking place on the floor of the house, the backbenchers. What is the role of a backbencher? Who is a backbencher? A backbencher in parliament is a member of parliament who is not part of the executive, meaning who is not a minister. All of us that you see who are not, as long as you are not a minister, you are a backbencher. What is the role of a backbencher? The role of a backbencher is to hold the government accountable or responsible. It's a reason we expect more of these backbenchers to speak on behalf of even the, some of the constituencies which are, you know, uh, I held by, or which some of the constituencies which belong to ministers. You can put in a question maybe on behalf of the minister indirect. Yeah, so the role of every area member of parliament, a backbencher, is to stand and hold the government accountable and also inquire from the government when certain things are not moving in a certain way that the constituents or the public are expecting. That's the role of the backbencher. Then the executive, which is the minister, they respond on behalf of the government. So, who, so I want to talk about what I saw yesterday on the issue of uh, uh, the private member's motion, which was uh, moved by Honorable JJ Banda, Emmanuel JJ Banda, uh, to reintroduce the Ministry of Religious which received a lot of uh, uh, mishaps, uh, you know, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, things were said. But when I looked at the motion, the whole idea was, can we reintroduce, urging the government, urging the, the executive to reintroduce this ministry? But what was coming out from those people, uh, from my colleagues? Uh, on the right hand side, you could even see they came with so much anger. They spoke of what PF did with that ministry. If PF did that ministry, we're not saying PF is bringing back that ministry. We are saying, can this government bring back this ministry so that we can have this ministry which will be taking care of, of the um, which, which, which can be, be taken care of uh, religious and guidance, also religious affairs. It's not only Christianity, it's religious affairs. You know, um, those are the things that uh, this motion was all about. But I want to talk about the debates which took place yesterday. I was really shocked, I was so shocked. You know, up to now, I'm, tr I'm trying to digest uh, what I was hearing. I must say to those who were on the right hand side who were opposing, the only person who debated with substance was Kambita. He did politics, which is expected on the floor of the house, and also he did maturely. And that's what is expected on the floor of the house. I like, unlike the other uh, Anakoka, the other one Amtike, and I was also disappointed with my sister, the, the whip, who says she's a woman of God. And the way she came out there, I was saying, oh, if it was me, I would have been insulted today on the media. Uh, but, you know, I want us to say this, that we need that ministry. If PF misused that ministry, we need to have that ministry so that UPND government can show us that they are totally different from how PF was, you know, um, operating. There's an issue of uh, downsizing the numbers of ministries. But how come we have Ministry of Environment? How come we have now the Ministry of Small and Industry, whatever, whatever? How did these come up? If you are trying to downsize the size of, uh, to downsize the, the numbers of, of the ministries. In all fairness, we should be fair when we are debating, and especially when our people in Zambia, they want, 
what, what they're asking for. At least even when we're rejecting a motion, let's be respectful to the people who have requested. You do not look at it like you are, you are, you are firing at PF or you are firing at uh, the private member uh, motion or you're firing at the person who, um, who, who moved the motion. I think when I look at that, I was really disappointed. Our colleagues from the right hand side, they've never showed us that they're the ones who are in power. They still debate as if they, they're the ones in opposition. No seriousness at all. When they come, they just come, they're so provocative. If the opposition is provocative, those who are in the ruling, they should respond to show that they are in charge. But it's so shocking and disappointing to see that those who are in the uh, ruling, they're the ones who are behaving like they're in opposition. Even the way the Minister of Home Affairs was responding. And I'm thinking, you're just showing the vengeance and you're talking about the things that happened, you know, instead of showing that you are, you are different, you are different from PF. What Honorable Jack Mwimbo was saying, I was so shocked. So there will never be any forgiveness. Even some of us, how we're being persecuted, this and that. You, I, I know I've already been uh, judged and I know I don't expect uh, you know, fair justice. But the truth of the matter is, You know, the truth of the matter is that when um, uh, when they, they are de debating, they should show us that they are in charge. They should show us that they are in charge. They are now, you know, they are now in the ruling party. I've never seen any kind of uh, maturity in... Uh, UPND members of parliament when they're debating, they come with anger, they come like they're still, they still want to get to state house when they're already in state house. Guys, the way you debated on religious uh, affairs and guidance, it's not about Sumaili. It's not about Reverend Sumaili. It's not about PF. If we, you can show us that you cannot forgive, who from the left hand side will ever be expected to get fair judgment or justice in this land? When the Minister of Home Affairs stood up to speak, it was all vengeance from his mouth. Because if I stand up, I start talking about what UPND did, what UPND did, what UPND did, instead of saying this ministry the reason why we removed it, we were trying to downsize. But instead, it was so personal, directing everything to Sumaidi, directing everything to PF. But we are not saying it's the PF who are bringing it back. So in other words, why are you taking some of the things that PF left behind and you've agreed? If all that PF did was, if, why don't you do away with all the ministries? Give them your new, start new ministries, even your work, everything. Start afresh. You are not being fair to the nation. If it were me to stand up on the floor of the house like that, I would have been crucified today in the media, being insulted. They will say all sorts of things. They will say all sorts of things. They will say all sorts of things. We've seen a lot of things happening. This is a, 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 a government which we expected to help us with cyberbullying. Just check even the comments which are coming on my Facebook page. If I report someone here for cyberbullying, it will not go anywhere because it's me. Let, let me say something on Facebook. They'll report me to Facebook. They are going to take me to court for being tribal. They are going to take me for being this. 
and they'll get all whoever they can, write all the letters, they'll go to all the media houses. You make sure you don't cover her. Make sure you write evil things about her. Okay, let me ask. This is what I want to talk about. If I get convicted five years, what will be the gain for you, PND? Because I'll come out, I'll still be living. I will not die. If you want Chienge seat, this is not the way we get seats. Just take it. Even if I get convicted, what next? Did I say I'm going to be a member of parliament for Chienge forever? These are politics. These are politics. You cannot say I want to be a president forever when it's a democratic country. No. You cannot say I want to be a member of parliament for life when it's a democratic country. We don't do that. We don't do that. The way, the way, the way, um, please, to those who love me, to those who love me, not these haters who have just natural hatred towards me, forget about them. Those who love me, please, if my face is not shining, I mean, it's not showing, just let me know that uh, your face is not showing. They've done those things they've been doing whenever I go live. They put some kind of a curtain. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, the, yesterday's debate, I was really shocked. I, I was really shocked. It's all about virgins, virgins. And we cannot even stop talking about this. It's all about virgins. And if you talk, you talk like me, shut her up. I'll get arrested. Like I've seen that later, I've uh, just uh, seen there. <laughs> I'm trying to, to think, okay. To all those who are saying five years imprisonment, do you want to come and kill me when I'm inside there? I can go in five years as long as you don't kill me, I'll be there. And I'll come out at the time of five years and I'll still be me, but this mouth I'll not stop talking. Mandela was locked up for 27 years. His voice was not locked up. His voice was not locked up at all. And if you think by reducing the numbers from people from Wapula or from the left-hand side to help, do whatever you want to do. But this is a democratic country. And where you take ministry of religious to make it, to demonize it, and to associate it with PF, what kind of people are you? Hmm? What kind of people are you? Sumaili, Sumaili, Sumaili. If PF was doing evil, why don't you show us that you are angels as you claim to be angels? Why don't you do that? You pay people to go on Facebook, all over Facebook, write statements. What are you afraid of? There are courts there. Are you trying to go where you think you want to go with your public opinion so that I get convicted? Honestly, I'm failing to understand. An individual, an individual, we've seen the police beating up innocent Piri and locking him up and getting, forcing them to delete whatever they've taken. I've never seen this kind of solidarity. Whatever your intentions are, you kill me, you do anything to not silence me. Somebody else will start to talk. Somebody else will start to talk. Whether you kill me, one thing I like about God, none of you who are orchestrating all this will live for good. But mind you, you are planting a seed for your children. They had Lenshina locked up. They had Lenshina locked up for no apparent reason. Today, those who are responsible for Lenshina's locking up and dying under house arrest, where are they today? Where are their children? A seed was planted. A seed was planted. Whatever you are doing now, enjoy it. But the, mm, your children will pay and your grandchildren are going to pay.
they will pay, they will pay. Now, no matter how you insult me, no matter what you do to me, you kill me, you lock me up, your children, children are going to pay. They will pay big time. Bakari pila. Bakari pila. Nimi pila the best example. Look at those who were involved in having Lenshina locked up. Lenshina no lupu alu wako baba fe all over bala butauka butauka fi. Look at them today. Look at them today. They lied against Lenshina. They lied against Lenshina. Her name was Regina, meaning queen. The members couldn't pronounce Regina. And then they started calling her Lenshina. Ale nwisha bantu imisu. Ale htefi. Ale htefi. Public opinion prosecution. She handed in herself. No trial until she died. We are knowing the truth today. But whosoever was involved in that, the pain. Do whatever you want to do for your political gain. Your children and their children, mm, they will pay. Whether I'm dead, I'm not dead, but Fika will conquer. Whenever you start persecuting people out of your self-interest self or selfish interest, you will pay. Today, you are in power. You can do whatever you want to do, but your children will pay. And there will be no one to defend you when the wrath starts to happen upon their lives. The curses will be upon them.